Right, today we're going to be talking about a film actually that's coming out in the UK today, which is, oh we're backwards aren't we? Mary Queen of Scots. Now this is the, the book that they brought out to do with the film. It was actually released as, previously published as My Heart Is My Own. Um, and it's by For The State. They have not, not heard of them a lot, actually, but anyway. No. Um, that's brilliant book. Brilliant book. Well, says she, I'm, I'm like two, three chapters into it, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Now, what's so awesome is that they invited us to a private screening of this film. I think it was probably about a month ago. That's what? Oh, gosh, it was more than a month ago. I think maybe two months. No, it was December. Was it? It was December. Yeah. Gosh, December was a long month. <laughs> um, so we sat in a theatre in London and watched this own um, film way before you get to see it, which was awesome. Um, and it's out today. And I have always actually been obsessed with Mary Queen of Scots. Um, so I was so excited to see this film. And for me, it just didn't let me down at all. Mm -hmm. It. I've watched so many things about her. And a lot of the time, either portray has been really like awful, or really like a um, wishy washy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she was at all. And no. I think what this film does is, is show probably mostly what happened. And if I go back to the book, it's not fiction. I don't know what it is when when you research something, you write a book on it. Mm. Sort of autobiographical, like, yeah. I guess. Um, so it's, it reads like fiction, but it, it's not. So it's literally talking about um, what happened. So I think it's probably the most historical, historically, there we go, yep. <laughs> accurate film that's been made about her. It's nothing like Rain, which I think Rain had certain elements in it, which is obviously a TV show, um, but a lot of it wasn't, was, was made up. Um, the film, I thought, was just incredible. And there's a few interesting things about this film that, um, I want to tell you first of all before I ask you what you thought about it is it's being given and I might have got get this slightly wrong but anyway um, like a stamp of approval by something called the reframe project and the reframe project is is there to basically get women and diversity back into Hollywood but it's not just that it's about telling female stories correctly mm -hmm. so not actually you know making the females any different than they were but telling them correctly and they've sort of put their stamp of approval behind this, which I think is really, really yeah. good. And also, it would definitely pass, pass the... Is it the Birchall test? But you remember that test you do on films? You can't remember, can oh, you? Oh, no, I, I remember... I remember the, the, B. the um, words ringing a bell, but I can't yeah, remember. I, I feel like I need to put in the comments what they actually yeah. is. It would <laughs> definitely pass that because, literally, they don't talk about men at all. They have, you know, mm. these women, two women, do they? So... Um, is this the first time you've ever really seen anything to do with Mary Queen of Scots? Yeah, because I never watched Rain, because I'm not really into as into historical stuff mm. as much as you. I watched Tudors, but that don't that's not anything well, to well, do. Well, no, she's much with he, her. Uh, Henry VIII is Elizabeth's dad. I could have got that. <laughs> and no, dad, I'm, I, 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 we must have learned about her in school, but mm. I don't remember a lot. And if it we did, we didn't learn much, and she sort of always a bit. Because I've always thought she was a bit of like a, not a villain, because that's the mm. wrong word, but not a... Well, that's good, how she's yeah, made out to be, actually. Not a good person. I liked in this how it didn't do that. It just showed them both as people. So what did you think as like a, a young woman, I mean, you're 21, mm. um, watching this happen? And I think what's so interesting about this film is it's a film about female power versus the patriarchy in, yeah. in essence which is you know conversation we're still having really but what did you think as a young woman watching this thing and looking at this historical thing playing out that is still in essence playing out i thought it was really cool to watch it actually because it was them just sort of wanting to do what they wanted to do and all these men around them trying to tell them what to do and a lot of the time especially mary she was kind of like no don't really want to do that so I really liked seeing that they were still like really strong and fiery but in the when, end everything that happens yeah. happens because of the men yeah exactly and that's what's kind of devastating about it as well is that it's all the men's fault <laughs> yeah and I think that when we talk about sort of feminism and female power we forget mm. often about these historical women that yeah. there were that were doing amazing things that's the cat scratching by the way she likes to appear so you never know she, she might a little tail yeah maybe <laughs> um 
And because I often think the stories are mistold incorrectly, yeah. or you know, like you say, she'd be made out the villain, mm. um, and and you know, she might be that. She, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. There is the cat. The cat. Now you see. Um, so I'm I'm going to have to get up and let the cat out. <laughs> um, but what I thought was, you know super interesting is that they're telling it and they're telling it just as it was yeah and they're not telling you how to think or feel about yeah. it so you're left thinking what do i think or feel about that mm-hmm. yeah i i agree with that because in even in the, like mary wasn't sort of i wouldn't call her like a a nice but like she was nice to the people around her like her serv- servants her advisors maybe no the people like her Shame, like her, oh, yeah. Wh- yeah, those people, ladies, her, her ladies, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On oh, the scene where the male one died was really, yeah, sad. yeah. but um, but to uh, Elizabeth, she was always really strong and wasn't necessarily like, mm, sorry, that's my phone, really like nice to her. And she was just sort of like, This is what I want to do, and yeah. I mean, they were both very, very strong women, yeah, in very d- different yeah, ways, in very different ways. Um, and I think what we after the film, I did some investigating, and what I figured out, which actually quite shocked me, is that Mary was executed probably about 30 to 40 minutes from where we live, um, at a place called Fothering Gay Castle, which is now literally just a mound and a mm. plaque of stones. Um, the cat, you see? That female cat wants in on the thing. I'll go let her out. <laughs> She'll go let her out while I talk still about where we went so I actually went to Fodden Gay Castle to, ha- to have a look and um, it was quite moving actually and, and seeing it and um, and, and uh, walking around and seeing this one sort of solitary thistle actually was quite you know quite mm. moving but then what we as we investigate we decided we wanted to do a picture on Instagram and that we wanted to hire this outfit and make it really special because it meant a lot to us the film and as we were doing that, we, we, we the, the lady that we had the um, outfit from told us that some of the insides, I think that's the, get, the right insides. word, isn't it? The insides, <laughs> that sounds bad, yeah. of Fodling Gay Castle had um, gone to this hotel. And that actually the stairs that Mary walked down to her execution were in this hotel. And that there was, you can see the actual print of the ring. Yeah. So we contacted the hotel thinking they would like totally ignore us <laughs> to see if we could go and take some pictures there. But they said yes, didn't they? So yeah. we you went in your Mary Queen of Scots <laughs> outfit and stood on the stairs that she walked down to be executed and we took some pictures. Which part of me thinks you know and they turned out beautifully and you and, and you're doing sitting there doing it thinking this is great and then you're also remembering what actually happened yeah. there and i think we did it to honor you know to, yeah, to honor what happened yeah. but you, you you were very well aware i mean mm. how did you feel walking down the steps dressed like her in essence? it was odd the weirdest thing for me was seeing the imprint of the ring with the mm. little crown like i saw that and it's just sort of it was really moving to sort of see it and you sort of like to stop and remind yourself like this is the last place that she walked yeah. before she died, and that is always quite a odd feeling. Well, and also to think about the amount of females that came before us, mm. the females that had to fight before us, yeah. and, and in essence, I mean, she was executed for plotting against her, but the males caused a lot of the problems, and realising that, you know, gosh, it's not so different. Mm. And, and obviously, you know... It, it, it was very different then, but really the things that we're fighting yeah. um, are still not so different. And, and actually those two queens probably aren't honoured enough, actually, for what they did do during their day. And mm. I think it was, it was sort of quite humbling, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. And it was sort of strange that they're just the stairs were just like in this hotel now. Yeah, and no one probably, most people probably, probably don't know. Don't know. Yeah. I mean, big shout out to the Talbot Inn, mm. uh, yes, um, who let us go there and... Um, just bumped up in an outfit and walk <laughs> up and down the stairs. Um, but yeah, it was, I thought it was really quite interesting. Yeah. And what was even more interesting to me is that we live 30, 40 minutes away and yeah. didn't know. So it shows me how how we often wipe, mm. wipe females out of history and wipe their stories out of history. And that we really have to try hard to get the narrative back in. Mm-hmm. Because, like, why didn't we know that? Why is yeah. no one talking about it? If it was a king... Then that, we'd all know. Then we'd, yeah. but would we all know? I mean, we don't know because it didn't happen. I mean, Richard III was actually born, mm-hmm. born there as well. I'm the white queen, Elizabeth Woodville. I think I've said that right. 
um, was also, it was born in Grafton Regis, mm-hmm. which is really close to us. So, um, and I just think, gosh, isn't it really interesting that we don't know these narratives, yeah. that we didn't know that. And if, if it was a king, maybe would we would we, have been, yeah. you know, do we try and erase female narratives? I mean, that's, that's for another thing. And I think we do try and, I mean, if you look at the Bible, a lot of the female narratives are hmm. totally taken yeah. out. Let's, not, but let's, not, that. let's not go, go there. But um, yeah, so... I, w- I think everyone should go and watch the film. Yeah. It hasn't actually got very good reviews, which really, really yeah, shocked me. I think it's like me. average, isn't it, on, on Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, Tomato, it's like 60-something. Like, yeah, because I, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Cinematically, it's gorgeous. Mm. Those two actresses, give me their names, because I can't remember. Uh, Margot Robbie, and I'm going to really butcher... So, 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 like, I, I don't know what her name is. I feel really bad because I can't pronounce it because it's. <laughs> What's her surname? Um, Ronan. Ronan. So, 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 maybe who knows? But their, their um, portrayals are just incredible, yeah. aren't they? And uh, I remember us walking out. I was sort of the. In my head, I was sort of thinking, oh, who was the better actress? But I don't think any, like, I don't want to pit them against each other. No, because they both played such different characters and they played them really well. So it's out today, 18th of January. Um, I think it's very, very worth, absolutely worth a Mm -hmm. watch. I would definitely have given it like a four and a half out of five. Um, Just because this is a female narrative being told as historically accurate as we know it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's really important because I don't think that is often done. There's no dramatisation of what happened. I mean, it is beautiful. They've got beautiful costumes on. It's filmed beautifully, but it is actually the story. Mm. And I think as women, it's important that we go and see who came before us. Yeah. Um, and what and what happened. So, yeah, go and see it. Yeah, any yeah. last words? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs>